The EPA's new strategy sets out our purpose to protect, improve and restore the environment. And we do that through scientific knowledge, through regulation and through working with others. And as part of our strategy, our behaviours and values are as important as the what we do, so the how we do our work is as important as the what. So we've developed a set of values which include professional, trustworthy, customer and stakeholder focused, collaborative and innovative. And within this, we also set out behaviours that each and every one of us have committed to in order to deliver on these values. One of our aims over the next five years is to be an effective voice for Ireland's environment. Uh, so we will be advocating for an overall uh, policy for the environment in Ireland that sets out the short, the medium and the long-term ambitions for the country. What does an effective voice actually mean? Well, it means being courageous, it means standing out, it means making sure that we get our evidence, our assessments, our information and our research to the right people and that we can help those who are in the policy arena, who are in local authorities and our citizens to make the right choices. This strategy will result in a really clear commitment to more timely data in relation to climate change. And what does that mean? It means that we acknowledge that Given the pace and the scale of the climate emergency, we need much more timely evidence to understand what's actually happening, the impacts of the policies that have been already taken, are they working? And if not, that information allows the policy system to be able to be more responsive. We are working on building a really strong evidence base of what the Irish people think about climate change and that crucially we can use that to inform and to help others who are communicating in relation to climate so that they can reach more diverse audiences. I think one of the aspects of our new strategy is the strong emphasis on the enforcement of environmental regulations, holding operators to account, ensuring that none of the operators are polluting the environment or impacting public health uh, beyond 2026. Well, really the circular economy is about doing more or better with less. It is about driving more recycling, more reuse and more efficient use of our resources. And this is really exciting in our new strategy that we're putting a really strong focus on sustainable production and consumption, helping businesses, helping people and informing policy to deliver resource use and to ensure that we can make better choices for the environment. We have a culture of excellence in the EPA, which we're very, very proud of. And under the current strategy, we recognise that to maintain that, we're going to have to invest in our people so that we continue to be a trusted source of the most up-to-date information uh, on the environment. Uh, we're also proud of the fact that we have uh, achieved certification for our environmental management system, which manages the impact of our activities on the environment. But I'm very, very encouraged by the fact that we had huge engagement by our staff and all of the people that we actually consulted. I think they recognise that we have achieved an awful lot, but we're not going to sit on our laurels. In the new strategy, we have a commitment to reduce our own organisation's greenhouse gas emissions by 30%. It puts the EPA in a real leadership position. We are the, the data, the knowledge, the evidence providers in relation to what's happening nationally. But we also have a role to show others how to reduce your own greenhouse gas emissions. There are ambitious national targets and we're going to front load the achievement of those targets uh, under the current strategy so that we are well placed to achieve those targets. The one takeaway from the strategy for me is that if this is for everybody. It's not just for the EPA. We're all in this together. There are, you know, there's something that everybody can do to make, a, to make better outcomes from the environment. We all need to be working together to improve the environment and it is so important for Ireland to protect our environment and to continue to recognise the value of it for each of us at an individual level uh, that I hope people will be inspired and motivated and work with us to deliver on this strategy.